Scorpion win flawless victory fatality. YouTube, what up? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. And today I want to talk about the two Scorpion action figures from Storm Collectibles, the Mortal Kombat 1 slash 2 and the official Mortal Kombat 3 that's uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 2019. It is set to release this October. So guys, be patient. Don't go nuts paying the eBay prices. I mean, anything, you know, 100 bucks, that's pretty fair. But anything over than that, be careful because Scorpion... Uh, He's over, the older one anyway, is 200 bucks right now on eBay. So people are expecting the new MK3 one to kind of raise to that price. Hopefully not, man. Hopefully they, they remain uh, affordable. But anyway, here's the back art. They both are very similar. Both come with an equal amount of accessories. The older Scorpion, maybe with a little more, but the new Scorpion is pretty much as equal. So if you like the older Scorpion, you're gonna like the newer Scorpion. Here's more of the side artwork, pretty cool. It does come with an instruction manual in case you don't know how the accessories are put on and how to swap parts. And that's really good uh, because it's not obvious. I mean, sometimes it could be pretty difficult. So to have this included is a plus. In case you weren't aware of what the capabilities are, you can swap the masks, take the head off. If you have the old scorpion head, you could even put it on here, swap blood effects. You have interchangeable hands. You have the spear, you can put blood at the tip of the spear. So it's pretty cool, it's, a, it's pretty cool. There's one accessory that's not included that I'm kind of baffled by. In the backside with nothing much except the dragon logo. But yes, indeed, for me, these are must-have no-brainers. I don't know. Um, I don't collect too many things. But the minute I saw these, I wanted to try them out. I was lucky enough, someone traded me a scorpion and uh, I think it was Noob Saibot. And I fell in love with them. And then someone traded me brand new uh reptile and sub-zero so i was i was happy to have both of them for trade and then i ended up buying rain smoke goro shao Kahn, ermac and then this scorpion and even baraka because i loved this line this mortal kombat line it's pretty cool the only problem well i don't want to say the only problem but one problem is they are a little big for 112 scale they're a little taller and wider than a lot of 112 scale figures not that that's a problem because I don't I don't plan on posing them with anyone else except the MK line. Problems with these, other than that, would be availability and price. I say availability because it's not like you can walk into a Walmart or a Target and buy this figure. I think the closest store that you can probably walk in and buy it is a GameStop. And you'd have to pre-order it there first before you can pick up anything because they just don't hold them on the shelves. The figures are pretty rare and they are pretty scarce. And that's the reason why they do go up in price once they sell out. People are begging for re-releases of the old Scorpion, but I really hope they don't re-release them. I just don't like bandwagon riders. But to be fair, I think everyone who is interested in this line should have the opportunity to buy it if they so please to, right? And I don't think everyone has that opportunity right now. If I'm not mistaken, Scorpion was the first figure released for the Mortal Kombat line for Storm Collectibles. And that's when they, you know, I don't want to say just started, but that's when they kind of were gaining their popularity. Because before then, they were doing like Hulk Hogan and Dennis Rodman and Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. And so they got some game titles and Scorpion and Sub-Zero, I think were released pretty much around the same time. Then Reptile came in. To be honest, I missed out on Scorpion and Sub-Zero too. It was when Reptile came out is when I finally got really excited about the line and went back and grabbed the other two and then went forward and grabbed the rest. For me, a guy who's not really big on collecting action figures aside from the spider-man marvel legends i love those but other than that i really don't collect action figures uh, but with this line i just needed them these two look great um all of them look great actually all the mk figures but i just want to show you that he is a little wider a little taller than the older scorpion not much of a difference but just a little bit just to keep that in mind scorpion comes with eight interchangeable hands another mask with a skull on it, an axe or a sickle axe. I don't know what that is exactly. You get a spear that's kind of curvy and then two blood effects, three blood effects actually, two for the spear and then the other one for his fist, but pretty cool. Let's get a closer look at these fists. I do like the way they're painted, pretty awesome. The yellow is bright. I like the brightness. People are kind of mad at how bright it is. They want it to be more like dandelion 
or more of a mustard yellow. I like this yellow. It's like a nice voltage bright yellow. And these blood effects look pretty cool. I'm surprised that I thought we were supposed to have one to cover the axe. I mean, I know, I know why we didn't get it, but I thought we could have got a replacement for it. Either way, everything is pretty cool out of package. Now for the MK1, MK2 Scorpion. Comes with the same amount of accessories, probably uh, one or two more, nothing too special. But you do get nine interchangeable hands, better than the six we just had. You get an extra head, the skull head for his fatality, another mask, the fatality flame effects, and two spears, one to grip and the other one to kind of propel out. So this one, you get a little more accessories. And you wonder, this was cheaper. This started at 55. The new Scorpion starts at 70, but Good luck trying to find them at those prices now. Taking a closer look, you can swap out all these parts. The hands are really soft. The head is done really well. It's shaded nice or, you know, washed pretty nice. The figure has some nice dry brushing as well. The flame effects look like actual fire, so that works. It works well with the skull head. And the spears look really nice once you put them in the right place. Go on, you take that. Okay, my friend. I, I kick your butt. Scorpion, Yay. win. You don't mess with me, okay? Fatality. I mean, you probably sell the illusion more with another figure there. The MK2 mask and the MK1 mask both come with the Scorpion. It's all about preferability, which one you prefer. For me, I like the cloth mask, but I do like the more metallic, like, paintball mask kind of look. I don't know. I like them both. It's good to have both of them. Then the spear really works well once you get it in his wrist the right way it's like it holds up really nice it doesn't wiggle out so it it works and this doesn't happen all the time to all the figures but the arm does pop off on scorpion i've watched a few of these mortal kombat reviews and i have yet to see really anyone talk about the quality errors or the the mishaps that are on these figures uh, maybe anthony's customs because he he lets nothing slide so respect to you but Really, no one talks about the cracking inside the wrist pegs and the shoulders that pop out. No one talks about this. For me, I always have trouble swapping hands because the ball peg just pops right out because you can see it's cracked inside the wrist. And most of my, not most, but I say like maybe three out of the seven ninjas I have have that issue. Um, the hands are really soft, so I don't see why the plastic was, you know, should break. I don't know why it's so brittle inside the wrist. There's nothing I can do about that. That grip hand holds the spear. In case you want to have it like at a side. Yeah, I'm dead. He has a smile. Why is he still smiling? I don't know. One thing I want to mention too, I feel like this face mask is a little too big. It looks like Daffy Duck. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like the sides of the mask are supposed to be tucked in the hood and not so outside over it. I mean, maybe, maybe it is a little bit, but I just feel like it's too big. Does it kill? Does it kill the figure? No, not in any way, shape or form, but I feel like it should be covered to about there and that'll make it look better. A lot of people say that the eyes are cartoony my son said the same exact thing. That's the first thing he said. He said it looked cartoony. Probably because the eyebrows are bushy. And here is the interchangeable mask. I'm, I like this mask. I want to I be honest. It's cool. It's a cool little piece to have. For me, it just doesn't sell what they were trying to do. Because for the game, Mortal Kombat 3, Scorpion has a skeleton kind of face. His eyes are sunk in. It's a deep black. So it kind of looks good with the skeleton jawline and, and nose. This is, just doesn't really sell it too much. It looks more like a mask. But that's not even really the issue. For me, it's the, the way it fits. It just doesn't fit properly. It doesn't size on the face right. It's too small. There's gaps on both sides of the face, and it falls off at the slightest touch or movement because it's not properly on. You see? It just falls right off. And I'm not the only one. I know a couple other people who have these, and they said that it's the same exact thing with theirs. They believe that one of the pegs on one side of the mask is just a bit too small than the other one. For me, it looks like my mask is a little lopsided, but it not fitting shouldn't be such a common issue. Hopefully they fix that. Another small issue is, uh, it might not be such an issue for you guys, but the gi's a little sloppy. And when you kind of slide the gi over the shoulders, 
this yellow paint all on the chest. And I think I can take that out if I really wanted to, but I'm not sure. So I'm not going to try to toy with it yet. It's not, it's not everywhere, but there is some yellow paint. And you guys know my hand is still pretty busted, so I, I can't really test out the articulation on this. I'm hoping it is as good as the rest of the ninjas. From what I can see, it looks it looks pretty similar. Head movement goes up and down. Range is pretty much the same, probably a little less. These shoulders are tight. That's good. It's a good sign. You don't want them to loosen up. It will loosen up over time. Uh, but everything looks good. The paint isn't too bad. It's just where the gi is on the blocks. You can see where it isn't uh, neatly done. But everything else is painted really nice. So I don't have an issue with that. Legs do split pretty fairly, kind of kind of split all the way. So, I don't know, it looks all right. It looks looks pretty fair. This arm is super duper tight though. I almost feel like I'm gonna break it. Oh man, I'm gonna have to double check, but I feel like I'm not getting enough double jointed elbow movement. And I used to get it more with the other ninja. I'm gonna have to double check that. Scorpion does come with an ax but it doesn't come with the blood effect. So I thought this was the blood effect that replaced the one they initially made. Yeah, I'm still injured my thumb, but no, no blood effect for this ax. In fact, this blood effect is for fist. And I don't know how I like that, but I can't even put that on. Could even do this if you wanted to. Not sure how well it'll hold up though. So what do I think about this new Mortal Kombat 3 figure? I mean, our first impression and barely playing with it, I am happy to have it for the price that I paid for it. If you really want to know, I paid about 100 bucks for it pretty much. And that's a pretty pleasant price from the 70 it released from, considering it came from Comic-Con. And those lines are no joke. And once again, shout out to my boy, Marvel Legends series, because without you, this couldn't be possible. Appreciate the love. Everyone, go subscribe to him. If you haven't, go give him a follow on Instagram. At this point, I'm pretty much all in, so I'm easy to please. I may sound biased. I try not to be biased when I'm reviewing this because I know it's not cheap and it's not like a Marvel Legends. I hate, I'm not saying that Marvel Legends are cheap, but they are inexpensive and you can get them easily. So with these figures, you got to be more decisive. You got to be more thoughtful as to how much you want to actually spend on paying for a quality action figure. And like I said, I'm all in. Just give me the cyborgs next. Well, guys, let me know what you think about both Scorpions or either or. Which one do you have? And if you look forward to the new one that's coming out in October, let me know what your thoughts are. If you agree with my review or what other people are saying, you might have your own opinions, obviously. We're all going to have our own opinions. For me, I think this is a great figure. I'm happy to own it. I have no regrets, um, even with the slightest flaws that it does have. Let's just hope Storm keeps the flaws down to a minimum. Otherwise, they will shy people away from buying the figure. Especially people who complained about the seven, the two, I think it's 14 ninja repaints, including the bloody versions. So there's seven ninjas and then seven bloody versions. And people were just like, just fed up with the ninjas. They wanted Liu Kang and Katana and the Unmasked Sub-Zero. I have faith we're going to get the Unmasked Sub-Zero seeing this Scorpion and some other Mortal Kombat 3 characters. I'm fingers crossed for Shang Tsung. I like the way he looked. But I'm happy with what we got so far. Let me know what your thoughts are on these guys. Uh, if you like this review and you want to see more reviews on any action figure, Spider-Man mostly, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to sub if you man, Yes, you. Everyone below in the comments. Yes, you too. Thank you very much for showing me love. Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you two.